So to complete our parts list, I may want to include some 2D content, like a picture or an image panel or maybe an icon, that helps me get a point across. In the last example, you saw how we could add a non-graphical item for glue, and uh, it's really just dictated by this, uh, it's represented by this number 8 balloon that's not really attached to anything. And maybe that's not the best representation. Perhaps we want to put in maybe an icon or a picture into the scene that will help, it, uh, help us explain this. A tool for, using, uh, for doing that type of thing is under the Workshops tab, you'll see a button called Image Library. The Image Library appears as a workshop over here on the right side of the screen. And it's essentially just a directory that contains all kinds of 2D content, like icons, warning symbols, uh, maybe pictures of a tool or a fixture that you might want to insert. Now, a lot of these icons are already packaged with the software, but I've added some of my own icons as well. And it's simply a matter of just dragging the picture that I want out into the screen. And that's a resizable 2D icon then that uh, I can just click on and see the properties over here. So I can do things like changing its size, its shape, uh, whether or not it has an attachment leader. Maybe I'll take a, a leader and attach it to uh, here so that we have some glue on those screws like that. Uh, so it's very discoverable. You can use these 2D icons or 2D pictures to help add some, uh, some additional information. Now in our case, we put the glue symbol here but I want to make sure that we know that that's item number 8 on our parts list. So I'll just take the balloon for item 8, drag it over here a little bit closer, and now I really don't even need the leader on this icon number, or on this balloon number 8. So I'll just pick on it, look over in the properties, and where it says attach type, I'll say none. And now I think I have a much clearer picture that shows item number 8, glue, and where it gets applied. Finally, let's just update the view for our parts list, and now we have a much better way of describing what we're intending our assemblers to do with that instruction.